The by cursory glance, the Mumio might not seem like much. It actually holds an entire interactive whiteboard in its little packaging. And that's right, the Mumio is actually interactive uh, entire whiteboard for you to use um, on different surfaces and as such. It can also dub as a touchscreen technology for you to use um, if, if you have a projector for your computer. It can dub as a, a touchscreen cursor in, a, in, the, in the form of a pen for you to touch the screen and interact with your PC in presentations if you're in a classroom and the such. As such, it's a pretty uh, interesting product, either for entertainment use or for, again, lecturers and also teachers out there. The retail price of the Mimio is actually about $700 or $800, so it's not cheap, but compared to larger smart boards that we've seen that aren't, again, uh, don't have the ability to be removed and uh, easily accessible if you're traveling, this is a great solution for those looking for a portable interactive whiteboard design. Again, this device is actually quite antiquated, however, in terms of when it first came out. It was released only in two, back in 2000, which has been quite a while back, but again, te the technology behind it, the ability to kind of take notes with different colored pens and then have it show up on a computer, or for you to actually use this device as a touchscreen sensor for your uh, larger projector screen is very much impressive, even in today's standards. Taking a look at what's in actually in the packaging, this is the OEM packaging, we have over in the front sleeve some documentation and some software CDs, which we'll take a closer look at. I'm kind of struggling to take this all out and show it on camera, but let's try to do that. In the first sleeve, we have access to a few important pieces of documentation. They correspond to the Mimeo software, which can be installed on all Windows platforms from Windows, again, 95, Windows 2000, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, all supports this and will work. So pretty good design in terms of that. Over here we have what is called the Mimeo Calculator. It's a special feature or a special application for you to use the touchscreen functionality on the smart board. So this is actually just a piece of sticker that you can install and um, uh, technically kind of paste onto your whiteboard and then you can use the pen to kind of touch it and create calculations virtually, which is kind of nice. Over here we have a full instruction or uh, manual getting started. It's printed in thick text and so it has a lot of languages and support for it, um, also in Japanese, so it's also pretty interesting. Also we have a warranty guide for the product itself, in addition to a quick start guide address information, a quick warranty guide, and also a uh, quick start installation for you to, again, put the capture bar, which is included here, onto your pre-existing whiteboard. And then you have the capture bar where the sensors are going to use uh, different uh, technology like infrared to sense the position of the pen when you're writing it so it shows up on your computer. And also on using the cursor so that uh, it recognizes the touch when you're using the touch screen feature. It tells you how to connect it to your PC, how to put the sensor bar, which is right here, onto the actual whiteboard and then how to connect everything and put in the batteries and the such. It's very intuitive. It shows you the size of the of sizes of the whiteboards that it supports from uh, three by five all the way to eight by 11 and even larger. And it tells you where to place the special eraser because it's also a special um, wireless eraser that has a sensor on it so it knows when you're erasing your content in addition to when you're writing content onto the smart board. So pretty interesting. It tells you how to use the, again, the Mimeo mouse. Kind of interesting in name there. Mimeo and then all of these little accessories, how to use your PDA with it, how to care for it, how to extend the battery life, and the such. And essentially that's it. Um, again, the uh, slogan for this product is think it, share it kind of interesting. Again, this is kind of the generation one of the smart boards. It's where the original concept kind of originated. So everything that you see today, if you are a student and you have smart boards in your classroom, came from this one particular product. It all started here. So very, very interesting. Along the first sleeve here, we have access to these smart pens for you to write on your interactive whiteboard with. They come with different color, and this is a black tip, as you can see here. And then in order to actually put in the batteries, we press the lever on here for you to take out the um, actual tip here. And then you can actually take out the sensor here, and there's a battery compartment inside. All of the Mimeo products runs on one AAA battery. Batteries are actually included in the packaging, and battery life is actually surprisingly decent. It's going to last you about a few months before you have to recharge it or swap out for new ones, which is pretty good actually for this type of technology. Something I will note though is when you're having something and you're writing with it, it uses again in, um, infrared technology um, and also it creates a slight buzz when you're writing on it. So if you have to press onto the screen when you're writing on it, um, in order to kind of sense where the tip is, it's going to make a little bit of a, of a noise, which is kind of interesting. And also you have to make sure that you press hard enough when you're using your markers and not just too light or it's not going to recognize where the pen's position is because again, it, requ it requires a bit of pressure for you to sense the position of the pen on your whiteboard.
So let's take it off to the side. Again, we have four different colors. We also have a green one. You can see the tip a little bit clearer there. Um, same design there. We also have a blue one. Um, and again, it's gonna correspond to blue ink when you're writing it onto the Mimeo program, which is again, a virtual kind of uh, whiteboard that's gonna show up on your computer screen to simulate what's actually happening in real life. Uh, again, pretty impressive. There's also a red one. Taking a look, you have a full set of markers. Um, it also works with, again, any Expo marker from green to blue. And when you're actually using this product, you will have to install these. So for example, the black one, we would put, uh, place the marker tip in here so we can start writing on it and have um, actual text on the screen in addition to, again, having these smart functionality appear on the, on the program itself. If you don't actually want to use um, actual marker, if, for example, if you want to use a touchscreen functionality, you don't want to actually write dots and write things when you're clicking on icons, you can use this optional Mimeo stylus. And instead of being like a pen tip, it's just a piece of plastic that you can put in to the place of a pen. And now it just dubs as a regular stylus pen that you can, again, click around on your PC uh, to, to select different applications for the projector touchscreen feature. So again, you would just put in the stylus like so, and then it's gonna kind of, whenever you're pushing down, it's gonna push this lever over here, it's gonna actually create a sound and uh, know the position of the pen when you're actually using it as a stylus, when you're typing, when you're writing, uh, and then when you're drawing and doodling. So pretty cool. Over here, we have access to some more accessories. They will correspond to the actual sensor bar, which is actually what you're paying for there. And um, if we take it out, I will know that the actual sensor bar is actually surprisingly small for the amount of technology that it contains. It contains a few suction cups on the sides of the actual product, which are uh, which makes the product be able to be stuck onto the whiteboard surfaces. And it's pretty easy to actually stick them on because there are two simple lever bars that you put on here. You press it like so, and then the actual suction cups will do their job for you. So it's very easy to put and align. Again, you have a whiteboard of any size and you would put this to the side of the whiteboard in this position and you're ready to start writing over here and for the virtual computer to recognize where you're writing. So pretty interesting there. Um, a few buttons on here correspond to different features of new start screens, printing out your uh, the stuff that you're writing onto your computer, again saving things using the calculator feature and the such. You can see here on the side here we have two infrared sensors and this is where the um, sensing technology happens. Again if your pen is writing over here and it creates that uh, kind of sensing creates kind of a triangle in terms of the shape if you have a pen here and that's how it detects the position of your pen across your whiteboard and it sends that information to your computer so your computer kind of knows and simulates where your pen is in real life and it starts drawing out the ink when you're pressing on it which is pretty cool and down here we have access to the serial port which connects it from this end to the actual computer if you take a look at the cables that are included, this is actually the one. You have on one end, the one that connects onto your um, Mimeo smart uh, interactive board. And on the other end, it connects to the serial port onto your PC and also requires a mouse uh, port for you to plug it in and then you can start using it. Um, it requires both connections on a PC to actually power it fully on. So a downside to this, of course, in today's modern computers, they don't have as many connectors like these anymore. But a lot of desktops, even in today's uh, stores, still have the serial port. So Again, it's not going to work with every single laptop today by today's standards, but it should still work with most desktops. So if you have a larger computer, again, this is for interactive purposes in a classroom, it still should be able to be uh, used, which is pretty nice. Over here, we have access to the smart, um, well, first of all, we have an Expo whiteboard uh, dry erase cleaner for cleaning off your text after you're writing on it. But uh, finally, we have access to the smart eraser. Um, it comes with its own little dock, as you can see here. It resembles the iRobot sensor almost in a way. But uh, you would peel off these sticky pads and then stick them onto your whiteboard as well. And then you can start using this. It also uses, again, a AAA battery for you to sense the position of where the whiteboard uh, marker is. And in order to use it, you would basically press on the tip and you can hear the sound. This is the sound that it makes in order uh, to know that the device is actually powered on. And the tip is a little bit small, which is one of our major complaints when, you're, when we're actually using it. But uh, you have two different ways to erase content. You can use the small eraser tip or the larger eraser tip. Again, both makes a sound, so you know that it's powering on. But um, again, you can kind of see the infrared powering on there. There's a little bit of a sensor. Uh, the product is now turned on. But again, you have to press a little bit harder than normal, but you can then erase your text that you wrote using the smart markers and then um, using different sizes. It will automatically recognize that in the program and the text that you wrote onto the whiteboard will then be erased also in your computer program. So this is certainly a very, very exciting concept. It's uh, one of the core gadgets we've had our, uh, had an opportunity to, to have our hands on. Um, some downsides to this, of course, it's not going to work with just any you know screen. It has to be a traditional kind of uh, whiteboard with a hard surface. It can't be too reflective either. Um, 
if you, you can't just use a traditional kind of white screen because obviously it's not going to work with the dry erase markers. So you are limited to the locations that you can use it with. However, with the high functionality and the really cool design of this product, it actually works extremely well. And we'll post a full video review actually on our website of the Mimeo Interactive Whiteboard. So if you are interested in how this device actually performs in real life, be sure to check out our full written review on our website again. Thanks for watching here at OSMBTXReviews.com. This has been an interesting look back at the retro Mimeo Interactive Whiteboard set, um, the first generation mo uh, model of these smart board products.